Round one, game one, gentlemen. The Tampa Bay Lightning in Toronto to take on the Maple Leafs. Our playoff coverage here on the fourth period brought to you by BitBuy. Use referral code TFP when you sign up to get up to $50 in free crypto while terms and conditions apply. Well, let's apply our knowledge of you, David Pagnotta and Dennis Bernstein, into this series. Dave, I want to start with you and the Toronto Maple Leafs. The first time these two teams meet in the playoffs, you can expect a lot of goals. Yeah, certainly. There were a ton of goals throughout the course of these, uh, the series season matchup. You know, they had, they each had two wins, but there was just a flurry and onslaught of offense that, that occurred. In the final two games, there were two teams that just outwit and outscored the opposition and blew them away in their last two meetings. I'm not expecting that in this first round matchup between these two clubs, but certainly we're going to see some offense in this one. You have Andre Vasilevsky and Victor Hedman on the back end and in goal four the Tampa Bay Lightning, which may ultimately be the deciding factor in this series. And, of course, you've got Morgan Riley, the rest of the crew, Mark Giordano and everyone on Toronto that are going to help out the goaltending in Jack Campbell. This is going to be a very tough meeting, I think, between these two clubs, and it's really going to come down for me, I believe, to secondary scoring. Who can get more offense from the bottom six? And we know there's a lot of experience in Tampa. That could be the edge, DB, in this series. Yeah, Dave, remember – that third line last year that really helped them win a title. You know, Yanni Gord scored that shorthanded goal against the Islanders in the semifinals. Uh, to me, uh, can they do it again? Can that third line be as impactful as it was last season? And they're trying different combinations. Is it going to be Brandon Hagel, Alex Kalorn, Nick Paul in the middle? So to me, that's the, that's the question with respect to this team is like, can they win again with their depth like they did the last two seasons? You know what? It's funny when you look at, these two teams, Dennis, and the amount of talent. 13 Maple Leafs had career points and numbers in the regular season, but when you look at this Tampa Bay Lightning team, Steven Stack was at 42 goals this year. He also had 106 points. Austin Matthews, yes, everyone talks about the great season and having 60 goals, but also just 106 points as well. So that's a matchup, Dennis, that I'm really looking forward to see is the Stamkos versus Matthews one. Yeah, and I think it comes down to which team has the ability to shut each one of those great players down. And like Dave mentioned at the top, guys, You've got Victor Hedman, you've got Andre Vasilevsky. Who's going to shut down Stamkos? Is it going to be Jack Campbell? Is it going to be Mark Giordano? Is it going to be Jake Muzzin? I think that's a major advantage for Tampa, not only being there, but having more effective shutdown players. So if I had to trust one player over another earth, it would probably be Steven Stamkos over Austin Matthews because of the competition he has to face. The other element here in this series, guys, is there's one player that's familiar with knocking out the Maple Leafs in the first round, and that's Corey Perry. He did that last season, helped and contributed with the Montreal Canadiens to come back in that series and win it in seven. That was one that I watched and covered all seven games of. I'm going to be covering this series, and I'm going to be looking at their bottom six, led by Corey Perry, who had 19 goals this season, to see if he's going to bring some intensity, some energy, and some goal scoring to the mix for this team. So while you do have the Stamkos versus Austin Matthews uh, storyline to certainly look at, and then you've got Kucherov versus... Uh, Mitch Marner, and so on and so on up front. So many other offensive talents. Again, the bottom six and a guy that did it last season in Corey Perry is certainly going to be talking and, and, and uh, providing some wisdom to the rest of his teammates to say, look, this is what worked last season. Here's how we can get under their skin and achieve uh, the ultimate goal of winning the series and moving on to round two. Yeah, guys, thank you very much for this. Corey Perry is looking to go to his third straight Stanley Cup final. Maybe the third one's for the ch- or third one's a charm for Corey Perry. Again, for all our coverage picks and more, head on over to the fourthperiod.com.